Uh, but but it's the same thing that happened last year. Week one was very much uh, kind of up in the air uh, when it came to uh, how those games played out uh, as soon as the season started. A lot of these teams are still trying to feel each other out. They're starting to see what the other team uh, has to offer. And again, unless you're a team that's returning a full roster, you really don't know what that team is going to have. And ODU Silver probably taking advantage here as well. Opening up the scoring, it's gone scoring first for ODU. Yeah, gone getting the job done. And ODU completely new to the Rock League scene, at least for the MAEC. Coming in, I believe they played some League of Legends last year. Now coming in with a nice little statement to get things started here. Just about 10 seconds into game one. Up against a, G, or a George Washington team, rather. Uh, some players could have went over to the other spot. Some may have graduated, but this was a team that did very well last year. Yeah, looking at the roster here, it's Stangle. So I do believe this was the GW team from last year. Uh, Stangle uh, hitting the opening shot here for GW's George's team. I'm seeing some familiar names pop up here along the way. Uh, so this looks like this is the returning roster from GW as they do have multiple teams this go around. Uh, so this should be the same George Washington team that I believe had that undefeated season alongside uh, uh, George Mason University's A team last year. So definitely a team to keep an eye on. Yeah, it does look like all three returning players. So we'll see if the theme continues from tonight of those veteran players continuing to look very strong. So far, ODU getting that opening goal and then bleeding one over to GW. We'll see what the momentum looks like as we're just about a minute in. Stakes putting the pressure onto Kuro. Stangle now on the side wall. Stakes looking for that clearance through midfield. Scheme is there. Looking for help. The first gamer with the save. Kuro's shot is good for ODU Silver. They'll take the lead back with 3.51 to go. Nice shot there from Kuro. Stangle almost able to turn that one away, but in, it was just over his car. Kuro gets on to the end of it. No one in goal to turn it away as ODU finds their second. ODU so far playing GW George's team very well. Up by one. Still plenty of time to go here. For GW, we saw a lot of the returning rosters take a little bit to shake that postseason rust off. So do I do expect George Washington University's Georgia's team to bounce back here. Uh, but ODU so far playing quite well. The first gamer looks to play it back in. Now, o now pardon me, GW with a chance to clear their defensive end. And go on the attack as they're looking for that tying goal. ODU Silver trying to make the most of this possession. Scheme taking out, gone. With that demo, that's going to allow Sticks for the clearance, looking to get it through midfield. A great play by Kuro will keep it in for ODU. Now gone on the side wall. Plays on the backboard. The ball gets cleared out from GW, the first gamer with the clearance on the rotation from ODU Silver. Now Kuro in the corner, trying to get the ball through midfield. Now oh, GW putting that pressure on. Dangle plays the ball in, the first gamer with the save. Ball sails all the way back. Stangle rotates back in time, gets the easy save. ODU is looking to increase their advantage with 2.20 to go. Sticks with another save. Kuro adding that pressure. Sticks with a long clearance. It's going to be just too high and wide. ODU Silver gets back in time. Gets out of danger. Yeah, nice plays all around. Both momentum coming from these two teams. Back and forth, back and forth. This is probably the most back and forth series we've seen so far tonight. Both teams looking potent on offense, but also finding great opportunities on defense. And so far, a very tight game overall. That's game back in the defensive end. Gone putting that pressure on. Had a chance to possibly steal a goal. Kuro plays it back in. ODU looking to add on. They have a chance here. The pressure coming on. The first gamer scoring for ODU. Silver makes it 3-1 with a buck 38 to go. off underway a little bit of a stalemate towards midfield scheme on the side wall looks to play the ball in 
Ball bounces back into GW's defensive end. ODU Silver looking for more. Kuro is there near post, and it's good 4 1 for ODU Silver with a buck 21 to go. Another great play there. Teamwork makes the dream work off the post there in the end. Kuro just sliding that one in. It looked like it wasn't going to make it, but ODU, another statement goal there. GW's Georgia's team down by three. Under 120 to go. Can the Vets pull this one back? They have a chance here. Styx is unable to get there before Kuro gets there. ODU Silver, great rotations, both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Really putting the pressure onto GW, but they're also able to get back on defense just in time to pull off the save, keeping GW behind by three in game one. A very impressive performance so far from ODU. Now it's gone, looking to go on the attack. Stengel plays the ball perfectly, finds sticks on the side wall. ODU rotates back just in time. Scheme is there. It's not a hard shot, but has a chance. It's the first gamer, turns it aside. Now gone, going the other way. Sticks is there, turns it aside into the defensive corner. Under 30 seconds to go, Stengel picking up the save. Now looking to go on the attack for GW. Ball centered, but nobody was there for GW. Now Stengel going up, plays the ball high off the ceiling, looks to drop it down. The first gamer is there to challenge. The ball's on the goal line. It's going to trickle through with 10 seconds to go. GW finds goal number two, and cuts the lead down to two. Yeah, Stengel going up high. It looked like it was going to be deflected. Kuro getting a car on that ball, but in the end, not enough as GW does find the goal. Cuts that lead 4-2, but John, 10 seconds left to work with. It's going to be rough to come back here in game one. Five seconds to go in GW. Really struggling to get things going there on offense. I mean, give credit to ODU where credit's due. They're going to get goal number five at the end of this game. ODU Silver coming out, clicking on all cylinders. It's really taking it to GW. GW drops game number one to an ODU Silver team that looks very impressive after one game. Yeah, so far so good. ODU coming out again. Their first time in Rocket League here with the MAEC making a big statement game one win look at all those shots coming through as well 11 shots on the side of odu versus only five from gw here in game one a very impressive performance so far game number two just moments away odu silver just one win away from taking the week one opening series and getting the w in their win column here in week one and joey it's 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 been great so far like you mentioned a, a little bit here during that first game this is probably one of the closer uh games uh played between two teams that we've seen so far in week one odu silver pulling out the the, the win but it took them a little bit to get going and uh really they didn't start pulling away to the last uh minute and a half of game number one so still a lot to work on here for gw uh, but you could start to see that come online towards the end of the game. Uh, what can we expect here in game two from GW returning that full roster? Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, this is the first time we've seen the veteran team lose a game in the series tonight. Uh, ODU coming out, making some noise as that new kid around the block and just really getting the job done. It was a close game overall, about two minutes. Uh, I would say two minutes left in the game was when really ODU put the pedal to the metal and put in those final goals, really taking a demanding lead. But GW, we know the potency is there. This was a strong team last year. They went undefeated last year in the regular season before they made their way to playoffs. I expect them not to be super silent here. This one could go a best of three. Game number two underway. We'll see if Joey's prediction of possibly three games in this series can come to fruition. GW needs to find a way to win game two in order to make that happen. And so far, the pressure coming from ODU Silver here early on. Sticks looking to clear the ball through midfield, and it's Kuro going up to play it back in. The pressure picking up where they left off here from ODU Silver as now GW finally gets the clearance. Sticks the shot. The first gamer is there for the save, and now they're looking to go on the attack. Kuro is looking for that boost to reset. Now the shot coming from GW turned aside. Shot may have been just wide to the left. Now Stangle. Trying to play the ball back in. ODU Silver with the clearance, looking for that centering feed. 
Still looking for that opening goal. We'll have it. It's Kuro for ODU Silver. It's a great pass from the first gamer. And ODU has the lead. Yeah, first gamer puts it up. It looks like Sticks actually sends it in toward the goal. And in the end, ODU clearance coming out from GW as ODU finds the first goal. Up by one, 351 left to go here in game two. See how GW bounces back. Still plenty of time to go. But ODU with all the pressure so far here in game two. The first gamer pops over one defender, but just a little too high. Sends it on top of the crossball. But Kuro is there once again. Two shots, two goals. It's 2-0 for ODU Silver. Yeah, nice play there. Kuro getting on the end of it again from just about the same angle in the end. Second goal, 336 left to go. ODU up 2-0. Kuro wins the faceoff, looks for goal number three, rolls around one defender, single back in time. Had a chance for the natural hat trick. Stangle putting it into that. Now it sticks, the shot on target, back post, an unlucky bounce. GW was so close to getting a goal on the board and cutting the lead in half. They're gonna have to try again, but ODU has possession of the ball. The first gamer plays it back in towards goal. Now into the corner. They still have a chance. A big demo coming out on the scheme. Gone. Back to the side wall. The centering chance sticks with a good clearance. Finding scheme streaking down the offensive end. It's not on target. Sticks back into the corner. Gone is still there. Can't get a connection onto the ball. It drops down the first gamer. The long clearance into their offensive corner. Now ODU is looking to go on the attack. The centering feed. A chance here. Misplayed, but Stengel able to get the ball out. Another great chance for ODU that they couldn't capitalize on. Yeah, chances come, chances go. In the end, ODU still up by two goals, though GW looking for that first one here in game two. They've had a few chances. They've had some shots. Fortunately, not finding one in the back of the net. Just over two minutes to go. There's another shot off the crossbar. The first gamer. Almost with goal number three for ODU Silver. The ball rolling back towards the goal line. Kisses off the back post. Now GW looking to go on the counter. Scheme plays it just wide to the right of the goal. GW still looking for their first goal here in game two. And now it's Kuro with the, with the clearance. Scheme plays it back in and sends it just wide. ODU Silver being incredibly aggressive, but GW unable to make them pay for that aggressive play looking for those long range counter shots is just not on target ball back in gone with the save sticks still looking back post sends it just wide just into inches away for gw sticks going back up strong challenge from odu silver prevents that shot from getting off Scheme with full boost going up sidewall. Can't get there. ODU Silver threatening for their third goal. Kuro plays it back in towards centering feed. From gone, just unable to find anyone towards the middle of the field. Now we're under a minute to go. Still a two goal game, plenty of time, but GW needs to find a goal quick. A Oof. big save by Sticks on gone shot. That would have been the nail in the coffin. GW can't make the most of that counter attack. No to use Silver starting to threaten again. And it's a big save by Stengel and Scheme with the clear. The shot back in sticks with another big save. They still have time to do it. They just need to find one goal first. Time not on their side. Stengel back into the corner for GW. And it's gone. Trying to intercept the ball. Flips it back towards midfield. Karen Nova finds Kuro. Has a chance. Gets past one defender. Gone. Dagger for ODU Silver. Gone, gone are the ch chances of GW coming back in this one as well, John. 3-0 ODU seconds left. GW might score one, but they're not going to score three in that time. ODU making quite the entrance into the MAEC Rocket League scene. Eight seconds to go, and GW started to have some momentum go in their favor towards the end of this game. They just needed one to give them a chance. 
And they were unable to do so. A very impressive performance from ODU Silver, picking up the 2-0 series win over GW. What a way to make a statement here in week one. Yeah, absolutely. Big win coming through. ODU making that statement, taking down a veteran team in GW. Not just a veteran team, John, but a team that went undefeated in the regular season last year. ODU with a huge statement victory here in week one of the fall season.